Hi, welcome. This is for me Playtime. Article Linux spin-offs, have you heard about it? So it's an URL you can find on SourceForge, the project's Article Linux spin-offs files. So we have um, a place for all people who are reaching to the conclusion that we say, yes, I've, I've mastered the knowledge of making, building an ISO. And I want to go one step further. I want to make my own packages and that's explained uh, both of them. Uh, the whole story, the whole package is explained on arclinuxb.com and also on arclinuxiso.com. If you combine the knowledge that's there, you can make your own spin-offs because building is one thing, adding your packages is the next thing. And then you can decide I want to have a particular uh, desktop, Plasma, PSP, WM, Hersloft then decide, hmm, I'm gonna take Plank, no, maybe Career Doc. what if I take Latte Doc? right? I've just made a video about the three uh, Plank devices, panel and utilities. So it's all about choice, wallpaper this, or I can theme that, and what about the theme? I'm gonna put my menu to the left, no to the right, better to the top, etc. And the end result is you have a spin-off, you have a uh, you're cooking with different ingredients. It's still the same Lego blocks. It's still the same ingredients as a base. Arch Linux, Arch Linux packages with a twist because you take another uh, ingredient, another spice, you add it to it. And as an end result, you say, whoa, it's completely different. And that's the point. That's how far I would like you to get. But at this point in time, maybe you say, whoa, that's not, it's out of my league. But if you continue, and it's it's a project like two, three years, like going to the university, gathering out in all these videos and getting it, the, getting the Linux knowledge that's required, you can get to where these guys are getting. So I've made a, a spin-off of um, an, another a name, Vicios, I think it's called. So I hope that he will come here as well. So the idea is to have Arch Linux spin-offs SourceForge, a, um, gathering point so that the users say okay let's try out a spin-off let's try out a version of and different uh, cooking methods and different ingredients and different spices and what do we end up with right so i invite you if you have such a spin-off you just make an account here you join sourceforge you'll be administer uh, admin in, in no time and you can upload all your stuff and what, as a result, you get a list as a user, you get the list of Heftor, Bobo, Visios, etc, etc, and you get a long list. And of course, once you start, you'll see, you'll get addicted because it's super fun to be creating things. It's creative, right? So we have Heftors, which is not opening at this point in time. Let's take Bobos. Okay, so we have different kind of uh, folders and I don't don't say anything about this, it's just you. You put it on there, it's your thing, it's admin. That's the only thing I do. And then it's up to you to, to support people for your spin-off. And if there are questions, you answer them. So I am going to make another video for Hefter Plasma. That's the one I'm gonna choose. But at this point in time, it's three gigabyte. It's still moving around the world to different distros, to different uh, servers, I mean. So unable to find an, an information. So what you have to do is wait, that's it. So later on, I will make a video for Plasma. I've downloaded this one from uh, Bobo. So I'm gonna install this one with you guys. So that's the uh, idea behind the spin-offs. Um, it's great to be uh, this advanced, let's say. It's nothing advanced, uh, just follow tutorials and you be you get the knowledge in and that that's it that's it but then you can be so creative and can be fun it can be super fun really super seven is going to launch my virtual box i'm gonna make my template and clone and go for bobo there's also a special channel on our discord just for the spin-off so people users having questions, this is not working, that's not working, how we do this, how do that. There's also an, on Articlinx forum, a particular forum just for you guys and uh, the spin-off uh, creators. And they can, uh, they can add stuff in there, information, anything really, 
what they like. So it's their forum. We're going to use the same tools provided by Oracle Linux, right? So you recognize things um, because it's, it's going to be a um, remastering actually of a particular ISO. Calamares is our graphical install. It is so great. And here we see all these differences, right? We have a nice cursor. I think it's Pipata cursor. We'll check it later. And some other colors. But the tweak tool or the welcome tool, sorry, the welcome tool is available, right? So normally I would say run gparted, but since this is a clean thing, there is no partition, there is nothing too clean. So that's great. This will always work. We have version 3.2.18. Soon we will all jump to 3.2.20. And so on, and so on, and so on. Right, we are in constant change. The world is too, so are we. Next. And then we have lots of choices, the same choices as our Linux, right? You see what you like to add more. Uh, this is Steam if you want to have it. The games and here are the, the fun scripts for our Linux. Internet is rather big. Take a look. Lots of things like the Brave, etc, etc, etc. You choose. That's just more installation. You do need to have a internet connection. Without internet connection, there is a, a problem. You'll have problems, right? Well, problems. There's no problem. Calamaris just installs what's what you have, but not what you selected. No internet, no new packages, basically. Okay. Let's combine some stuff. This is something people don't know, maybe. You can click on this thing. It's meant to click. <laughs> you can't have the tweet tool that way. So that's interesting to know. And the rest goes to Telegram, uh, the websites of Discord, I think. So they move to through there. But this is actually an application. So it goes to the application. It's rather dark, but close tabs, I think. Okay. Right mouse click, we have applications here. Settings, lots of things. Here's the Arclix tweak tool. There are some different icons here, different elements. Maybe this is the candy icons. Well, we can probably see this already if we get to the settings manager. And then the desktop is not what I need. Back here, appearance is what I need. So candy icons is correct. And the style is Uno Pale Night. Uno Ocean is even darker. Uno Mirage, Mirage probably. Uh, Pale Night. So that's what I mean with choosing your spices, right? Maybe you like you just like this. It's a wow, beautiful, right? All good for us. That's Linux. You choose whatever you like. The font, the cursor, I mean. Maybe you'd like to know that as well. But we'll soon have an operating system. And we'll look into it. But I can't wait. <laughs> so, impatient man. We are patient at work and impatient at home. That's a professor's life. Where is my touchpad? That's always the thing with XFCE. Mouse, there you are. Mouse, behavior, theme. So, Bibata, Ember, I was right. It's the Bibata cursor, which is a beautiful little cursor. And there we are. Post installation configurations. And normally we just click here because we have this reboot button activated since last month or previous month, I don't know. This is normal, um, don't worry about it. It's something in the, 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 the ending job. He wants to unmount whatever we've just written. So it's good that it's in this video because I've answered already two or three people about it. So it, when it does happen, don't worry, it's installed. Now I need to reboot. 
So restart is good. The ISO is still in here in the virtual box, so I get my nice pop-up and I go to boot existing OS. And this is the choice of the grub image. So a dark world with a moon. It's all about choices. And that's great. And here we have our HLWM. So super Q. In my case, it's still Super A, but I have an Azerty thing, you know that. Ctrl Alt T, that's Arconix Bobo for you. Herbsluft is here, you know, Pale Night Candy icons, everything is here in the, at the, in the, in the summary, the things we have been looking up. So NeoFetch is great in that sense, provides a lot of information. So there are Arconix OB logouts and tweak tool. So there are some packages that I use that are not changed or I or we use that are not changed so not everything is bobo but there are lots of bobo packages in here so changed Arch Linux packages saying I want to have some kind of setting in XFCE different than uh, on Arch Linux choices right so a poll nothing to do so basically we're done I press that twice. We have here, well, a different kind of look, right? It's a different icon, so different kind of uh, approach looking at things. We have Control Alt F, Firefox. Yup. We have Control Alt V, Vivaldi. Not there. F12 is there. Pseudo Pacman, well, yeah, no, yes. Pseudo Pacman minus S, Vivaldi is here maybe let's combine some information as well i see the rest if you want to have uh, videos uh, this is for youtube yeah and the other one is for netflix so if you don't have netflix don't use the last one but at this point in time this machine just gonna work bam there you are and we can have a look at youtube videos and netflix things so i'm telling actually Netflix is going to be watched with this thing because you can also tell to watch it with somebody else, right? Control T, yay, white vine. There are lots of things you can uh, watch Netflix with. Chromium is here, Vivaldi is here, and we have the same here. Okay, just like looking at the version that we have the same version as on yay, on AOR. So that's cool. Um, is there something else to say? Um, not really a thing. Maybe we would have a look at the .config. So HLW, oh my God, HLW, where are you? There it is, Herbsluft WM. So we have here, um, the PyCom is here, system overview, the wall, how to start. Here are the things you want to change in your Herbsluft WM. I'm opening Atom, closing this one and this one this one making this bigger yep so do I see something different no not really not at this point but I was just thinking I see this thing here that's what we need to look at so there are of course lots of different things and you go to categories repositories to Bobo and Bobo has its own HWM uh, if there are different things in there, I don't know, I need to compare. And compare is done with uh, melt. So there's the candy icons, that certainly is different. Um, you know here, the Uno themes. Polybar is gonna be different. Uh, Bobo Roots, the wallpapers, XFCE. So all these packages are um, the equivalent of the Arconix package, let's say it's like that. That's of course uh, not true, but it's, it's it starts off with a um, to mimic to 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 follow the guidelines the package builds and then you get a package and then you start working on the package because you say oh, i would like to have this or that change and then you start con uh, changing the content of your package and that's what is is fun that's what's creative thinking about how would i like to have my system right so these these buttons up here it's all teams so how do I 
like to organize my workflow as well are things that are, will pop up and that's great to be able to be so creative. All right, I see here also a second puller bar. So it's a choice to have a second one down here. It's all fun, fun and games. It does say updates, but we've done our updates. So the only thing it probably needs to is super shift R and then reload everything, but not now. So it's log out, log in, and then a 30 is gone. But that's unimportant. That's polypower for you. There you go. Now it's there. You see? So update zero at the bottom here. All right, I think I've said it all. So again, um, it would be great to get more spin-offs to see people getting this far in our uh, well learning path. So if you've never seen about anything about, heard anything about Arc Linux and it's a learning path, go to Arc Linux Info. Please send people here. This is the, the website where we just talk about what's Arc Linux. Here is all the information of XFC, Openbox, i3 and any other system. Here is everything about the, the 15 desktops we have plus Arch Linux. Here we're gonna build our ISOs ourselves and here we're making an ISO from scratch which is called Carly. All right, I'm out. Have fun making spin-offs.